1884, Maquitz in St. Louis published this map of the United States. In it, each state or territory is represented by a specific hog or pig, if you will, and accompanying the figure of the hog in various stylized forms depending on the region is a nickname for that state or territory. You'll notice some state lines aren't what they are today, for instance, some places are not yet states here, but unorganized territories instead, like Wyoming or Montana, the Dakotas are still united as well. The nicknames are interesting because they give us an insight on something about the state, be it its history, its people, its main industry, or simply the shape of their borders. California is depicted by a gold hunter hog, referencing its gold industry. The hog in the Dakotas is stylized as a Native American, referencing its native population. Louisiana's nickname is Creole, referencing its history and native origin of its population. And West Virginia is a pig holding a pan with the nickname Panhandle, referencing its border shape. Throughout time and up to the present 21st century, states' nicknames have in some cases changed. Arkansas's nickname is no longer Toothpick, for instance, for whatever reason that it was before, and it's now natural. Indiana, however, is in fact still known as the Hoosier State, even today. And even in the cases where the nicknames changed, they continue to represent something either unique or at least defining about their state. So in this video, we are going to go through each state alphabetically and learn about their current nickname and what it means or represents. As a reference, and in order to provide full credit, I am using this fantastic stylized and illustrated map made by Saving Spot, which is a CashNet USA website. I'll post a link to their article in the video description. In addition to the really cool illustration they made, they also categorize each state's nickname by color, depending on what those nicknames refer to in each case. Those in orange have nicknames referring to history, in pink to animals, in green to the state's nature, in pale blue to the region's geography, in dark blue to culture and or language, and in light blue to climate or weather, and in yellow to specific crops grown in agriculture in that state. So now let's go one by one and actually learn why they have these nicknames and what they mean. First, Alabama, which has a few nicknames, but the biggest one seems to be the Yellowhammer State. This originated back during the Civil War, when one day a company of Alabama troops paraded in uniforms trimmed in bits of bright yellow cloth. For a while, it was known as the Cotton State, starting in the mid-1860s, but as agriculture diversified, some began calling it the Heart of Dixie as well. Alaska's nickname is sort of self-explanatory, it is the last frontier, it's the largest state in the US by area, and oddly it still has unexplored territory, being the last frontier of the country as once the Wild West was too. It's also the northernmost and easternmost border, so the nickname works in both ways. Arizona's nickname is the Grand Canyon State, not much to explain here either, it's home to most of the Grand Canyon, and so they chose this fantastic natural landmark to be what the state is known for. Arkansas's nickname is, like I mentioned at the start, the natural state, referring to its geography, mountains, forests, rivers, and farmland. The one I mentioned at the start, the old nickname of the toothpick state, refers to the early custom of men carrying large belt knives or daggers as a complement to their firearm. California's nickname is still the golden state because of its long history with the gold rush that led to the settlement of the region and snowballed into making California what it is today. Next is Colorado, and its nickname is the centennial state. This is because their statehood came exactly 100 years after the signing of the Declaration of Independence by the initial 13 colonies. Connecticut's nickname is the Constitution State, and this is because they claim that the fundamental orders of 1638 and 39 were the first constitutions ever written. It may cause some confusion because the actual US Constitution was mostly written in Philadelphia in the state of Pennsylvania. I would argue they can maybe change Connecticut's nickname to avoid this confusion. They have an additional unofficial nickname, the Nutmeg State, because its early inhabitants had the reputation of being so ingenious and shrewd that they were able to make and sell wooden nutmegs in place of real ones to trick their customers, but maybe that's not such a good thing to brag about. 
Delaware's nickname is the first state because it was, in fact, the first of the 13 original colonies to ratify the US Constitution. The map also calls it the Diamond State, which comes from Thomas Jefferson's supposed description of the state as a jewel, among others, due to its strategic location on the eastern seaboard. Florida's nickname is the Sunshine State. You'll know this if you've seen some of their license plates. It obviously refers to its sunny weather and beach-like climate. However, from a meteorology data standpoint, they are not the sunniest state, being surpassed by Arizona, California, Nevada, New Mexico, and even Texas. But then again, this is a nickname, not an official title. Plus, when you think of Florida, you do think of beach. The map does, however, call it the Everglades State, a region of Florida that is famous for its tropical wetlands and crocodiles. Georgia is known as the Peach State, as is mentioned in the famous Justin Bieber song, where he states, I get my peaches out in Georgia. The state does in fact grow peaches, but they are not their biggest crop. In fact, the choice goes further back and has to do with the South's effort to rebrand itself from being cotton producers due to the connotation that those plantations had with slavery, but they were grown back then too as they matched cotton's down and growth season. Farmers saw peach cultivation as something refined and European, and the craze for all things oriental at the time, where peaches came from, contributed to the choice of the fruit. Hawaii's nickname is the Haloa State, which comes from the Hawaiian native greeting and term, perhaps a reference to their former sovereignty and different native culture. From an etymology point of view, the term derives from Proto-Polynesian and dates back to the early 1800s. When broken down, the literal translation of the phrase is alo meaning presence and ha meaning breath. Together it would be the presence of breath or breath of life. Next is Idaho, and its state nickname is the Gem State. This is because of the presence of many gems and minerals in it. Initially, the name Idaho itself was thought to have been a Native American word, meaning gem of the mountains, but it has since been discovered that that was a lie. Moving to Illinois, the nickname is the Prairie State. According to the state's Department of Natural Resources, this is because of its geography and existence of many prairies. They write that the first settlers already had this name for the region back when they first arrived. Indiana's nickname is, like I mentioned at the start, the Hoosier State, and like so many other word origins, the origin is that we don't know. The Indiana Historical Bureau traced its first usage to the 1830s to a poem called the Hoosier's Nest, but it refers to Hoosiers as an entity, a type of person, Person or being, when theory says settlers who were knocking at the door frequently asked whose year. Another says the Indiana Rivermen were called hushers because of their success in brawling. The reality is we just don't know for sure, but it definitely has to do with the state's past. Iowa's nickname is the Hawkeye State. According to the University of Iowa, whose team is known as the Hawkeyes as well, the name came from the hero character in the novel The Last of the Mohicans by James Fenimore Cooper. It has no connection to the hawk animal as some claim. In Kansas, the state nickname is the Sunflower State because of the native wild sunflowers that grow there. Kentucky is the Bluegrass State because of the abundance of bluegrass, a species of green, not blue, grass that was introduced by European settlers for the purpose of grazing in pastures. Louisiana's current nickname is the Pelican State because of its state bird present on its flag in the shape of a fleur-de-lis in honor of the old French flag of the Louisiana Territory. Maine's nickname is the Pine Tree State because of its white pine tree forests. Maryland actually has two nicknames, the Old Line State and the Free State. The first was given by founding father George Washington because of the Maryland troops who served in the Revolutionary War, and the Free State comes from 1864 after the state abolished slavery. It wasn't the first to do so though, that was again Pennsylvania, I guess other states just steal nicknames from them all the time. Staying in the Northeast, Massachusetts nickname is now the Bay State or Old Bay State simply because, well, it has a lot of bays. Massachusetts Bay, Buzzards Bay, or Cape Cod Bay are examples of that. Michigan's nickname is the Wolverine State because the famous X-Men character is from there. But no, it's actually because of fur trappers who work there, taking furs from wolverines, these small animals. Others say that the name comes from the Toledo War of 1835 over the Michigan-Ohio border. Rumors in Ohio at the time would have described the Michigan people as being as vicious and bloodthirsty as wolverines. In Minnesota, the nickname is the North Star State. The North Star refers to its position as the northernmost state in the contiguous U.S. Mississippi's nickname is the Magnolia State, simply named after the state flower, while Missouri's is the Show Me State, the origins of which aren't really clear. The most used theory is that it comes from a quote by a Missouri representative to Congress in 1899. He would have said, I'm from a state that raises corn, cotton, 
cucklebers and democrats and frothy eloquence neither convinces me or satisfies me i'm from missouri you have to show me montana's nickname is the treasure state because of its valuable minerals gems and precious metals all of which have been mined there throughout their history Nebraska is the corn husker state, which comes from a method of harvesting corn by hand. Before 1945, they had another one, which was the tree planter state, because the state was founded on Arbor Day in 1872. In Nevada, the nickname is the silver state, contrasting with their neighbor California, which is the golden state. In 1859, a massive deposit of silver was discovered there. And actually, New Hampshire's nickname is the granite state, because of its granite quarries. New Jersey is the garden state since the economy of it was mostly based on agriculture. Today, only 15% of its territory is farmland. Land of Enchantment is New Mexico's nickname since 1999, but its origin actually dates back to 1906 from a book about the state written by author Lillian Withing, which had this as the title. New York is the famous Empire State, and it's not because New York City is home to the famous Empire State Building, that's the other way around. The name comes from George Washington, who in 1785 praised New York's resilience in the Revolutionary War, calling it the seed of the empire. North Carolina's nickname is the Tar Heel State, which comes from their production of materials used in ships, namely tar itself. In North Dakota, the nickname of the state is Peace Garden, similar to New Jersey, but more peaceful, I guess. The cause is the existence of an actual garden called Peace Garden between North Dakota and the Canadian province of Manitoba. Next is Ohio, where the nickname is the Buckeye State because of the state tree, the Ohio Buckeye. Oklahoma is the Sooner State, where Chandler Bing had to go work in and friends. In April 1889, the US government established a designated time for settlers to commence their entry into Oklahoma and claim ownership of the land. Those known as Sooners were the settlers who arrived on the land prior to the officially designated time. Oregon's nickname is the Beaver State, and this time it does come from the state animal, the American Beaver, which is largely present there. Pennsylvania is the Keystone State because of its historic geographic, economic, and political position during the early days of the nation. When building a bridge made of stones, the Keystone is a wedge-shaped stone, it's the last one to be placed in the center of the arc, and it's the most important stone within the structure, so its nickname was a metaphor for how important it was within the Union. Next is Rhode Island, and its nickname is Ocean state because of its many beaches and proximity to the Atlantic Ocean. South Carolina is Palmetto State in reference to the palmetto tree that is common there and also appears on its state flag. South Dakota's nickname is the Mount Rushmore State in reference to the fact that the monument of Mount Rushmore is there. Tennessee is the Volunteer State because in 1812 when the US went to war against the UK, they sent 1500 soldiers as volunteers. It was not so much that they were sent or the number, but the fact they were important in their role in the conflict. Texas has perhaps the most famous nickname, the Lone Star State, because of the single star on the state flag in opposition to the 50 in the national flag. The star adopted before Texas rejoined the Union represents precisely a degree of independence and opposition to the United States. In Utah, the nickname is the Beehive State, connected to the Mormon settling of the state, given that the Beehive is an important symbol for them. Vermont's nickname is the Green Mountain State. The name Vermont itself comes from the French words Ver meaning green and Mont meaning mountain. When Vermont was briefly independent as a country, they used this flag called the Green Mountain Boys flag, which was also the name of their local militia. In Virginia, the nickname of the state is Old Dominion because the state was England's first colony in North America. Washington is known as the Evergreen State because of its many evergreen forests. West Virginia's state nickname is the Mountain State because it's the only state in the US which is completely within the Appalachian Mountains region. Wisconsin's is the Badger State, referring to not the presence of the animal in the region, but rather an association with lead miners in the 1820s. Prospectors came to the state looking for minerals, but they had no shelter in the winter, and this forced them to live like badgers in tunnels in the mountains. And finally, Wyoming is known as the Equality State because it was the first state in the Union to grant women the right to vote. So. Those are the current nicknames of all 50 of the US states. Which nickname is your favorite and would you change any of them? Let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you want to catch future ones and I will see you next time for more general knowledge.